assalamu alaikum dear viewers welcome to economics.com 0.2 in this channel we explain economics in a very simple and a practical way if you are a student or a business owner or just a curious about her economics this channel is for you if you have not subscribed yet make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new videos let's start with the today's lessons today's lesson is a type of elasticity of demand there are a different type of elasticity of demand in this video lecture we will we just focus on a first price elasticity of demand first of all we know about the concept of demand elasticity of demand refer to how a sensitive the quantity demanded for goods or a services is it to change in its prices in a uh, simple terms it measures uh, how much the demand for a product increase or decreases when its prices goes up or, or down let's take down its a uh, formula this formula tells us that the elasticity of demand is uh, calculated by dividing the percentage change in a quantity demand by the percentage change in the price of our goods if the price of a product increases and the quantity demand decreases significantly the demand is said to be called elastic demand on the other hand if the price change has a little to no effect on the quantity demanded the demand is considered inelastic this concept is very important for a student business owners and our policy makers as it help to predict our consumer behavior when prices fluctuated enabling the better pricing strategy and our market decisions price elasticity of demand price elasticity of demand measures uh, how responsive the quantity demand of our product is it to change in its prices essentially it answers the question how much does demand change when price is changed now look at its formula this formula tells us that the price elasticity of demand calculated by dividing the percentage change in quantity demand by the percentage change in prices if the percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than the percentage change in prices we say the demand is elastic this means consumer are are very responsive to price changes on the other hand if the percentage change in quantity demand is less than the percentage change in our prices demand prices uh, demand is called inelastic this means consumer do not change their buying behavior much when price fluctuate This concept is a very important for all of students, business owners, and our policy makers. Uh, it helps to it helps predict them how consumer will respond to price adjustment, allowing them to make uh, informed decisions on our price strategies, making their sales forecastings. Some practical example for uh, price elasticity of demand: If the price increases by ten percent. demand for a cd is fell by a 20% the price elasticity of demand is calculated is equal to minus 2 a uh, second example if the price of petrol increase from a 130 to 140 and the demand fell from 10000 units to 9900s the change in quantity demand is uh, minus 1% and the change in our prices is a 7.7% therefore the price elasticity of demand is equal to change in quantity demand divided by the change in price uh, is equal to minus 1 divided by 7.7 if price elasticity of demand is a minus 0.13 price elastic demand as the name suggested elastic demand it's occur when a change in a price leads to a bigger percentage change in demand in other words when price drop or rises consumer are very responsive and their purchasing behavior changes importantly let's see the graph 
we can see the demand curve labeled D in in the graph as uh, prices decreases from uh, 60p to 50p we notice an important increase in our quantity demanded from 50 unit to 100 unit this is a key feature of elastic demand the percentage change in a quantity demand is greater than the percentage change in prices so what does this means when the price elasticity of demand is greater than one demand in consider elastic this means that consumer are a highly sensitive to price changes in this case if price drop a larger proportion of a consumer are willing to buy the product making the demand are quite responsive to price changes this concept is very important because it suggests that the lowering the price can lead to a substantial increase in sales however it is also means that Rising the price can lead to a important drop in a quantity demand. Price in elastic demand occur when a change in price leads to a smaller percentage change in quantity demanded. In other words, consumer are not responsive to price change for all these good. Look at the graph. We we can see the demand curve labeled demand curve label is uh, demand as the prices rises from uh, 10 to 14 dollar the quantity demand only decrease from 80 to 88 units the percentage change in price is much larger than the percentage change in a quantity demanded in this case price elasticity of demand is less than one around 0 0.5 this means that is inelastic consumer will continue to buy a uh, most the same amount even when the price raises or falls goods that are typically have an elastic demand including uh, necessities like uh, basic foods items or uh, certain medications even if price rises consumer still need uh, these goods these goods and are uh, less likely to reduce their quantity demanded importantly inelastic demands means they have uh, more flexibility to rise uh, prices without a lot of drop in sales however it is also means the prices cuts will not uh, importantly boost in the quantity demanded using the knowledge of elasticity can be used to make a business decision practically in the context of price strategy in this we when demand is inelastic increasing the price can actually increases the revenue this is exactly what organizations like OPEC attempt to do when they try to raise rise the prices of oil let's break it down further using the graph on the left we can see the demand curve label D which show the relationship between the price and a quantity demand the initial price is $1.15 and the quantity demand is 100 units the revenue is calculated by multiplying the price quantity demanding giving as a 1500 now notice how the price increases are uh, 30 dollars with a slight reduction in a quantity demanded down to uh, 80 units the new revenue is a uh, 24 30 multiplied by 80 is equal to 2400 although the quantity demand decreases and the increase in a price more than a competent for the lower sales volume leading to a higher revenue the price elasticity demand here is calculated as at minus 20 percent divided by a hundred percent is equal to minus two percent price discriminations in this scenario some consumer pay a higher price for uh, tickets such as the train traveling tickets due to a difference in the elasticity of demand for uh, different consumer groups in the graphs we can see the demand curve for uh, adults and students adults have a more inelastic demand represented by the steeper curve meaning they are less responsive to the price changes as a result the price for adult is a higher at 8.99 euro 
on the other hand students have a more elastic demand showing by the flatter demand curve this means that they are uh, more sensitive to uh, price changes so the price of a student is lower at 4.99 euro this strategy is known as a price discrimination where different groups are charged a different price for a same goods or a services based on their price sensitive in this case adult pay a higher prices because their demand is inelastic while a students are offered a lower prices because their demand is more elastic this is just for examples of how companies can maximize their revenue by adjusting the price according to the elastic elasticity of different consumer goods tax incidents if demand is a price in elastic then a higher tax will lead to higher price of a consumer for example to buy taxes the tax incidents will mainly be are borne by consumers if demand is price elastic firm will face a bigger burden and consumer will have a lower tax burden in these two graphs we can see effect of tax on the both consumer and producer side the left side shows the situation before the taxes and the right side shows the market after the tax has been imposed on the left graph left side graph the market is at equilibrium without the tax the price is dollar 10 and the quantity is 80 units when the tax is introduced it shifts the supply curve upward from a uh, dollar 1 to 2 uh, s1 to s2 sorry leading to a higher price of a uh, $14 and reduce the quantity of 88 units let's break down the burden of this tax in the in the right graph we see that the tax burden is shared between the consumer and the producer the consumer burden is uh, represented by the area between the prices they pay after the taxes and the price they originally paid the producer burden is the area between the price they re receive after the taxes and the price they originally received as you can see we when the demand is inelastic consumer pay a larger portion of the tax burden because they are less responsive to price changes this is why understanding the elasticity is uh, so important for a uh, student for a uh, business owners for policy makers when designing a uh, taxes and understanding the impact of our uh, different stakeholders thank you for watching this video on elasticity of demand and types we hope you you know have a better standing of the first type of elasticity of demand is price a how student businessman and a policy maker can use this knowledge to make a informed decision feel free to revisit the key concept and example discussed through the videos and do not forget to apply this understanding in real world decision scenarios if you have any question do not hesitate to reach out once again thank you for your time and attention see you in the next video